In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really pretty rosette cookies. Start with two eggs and beat them lightly. Add a cup of milk, a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a cup and a quarter of flour, and then mix this up until well combined. And now cover it and refrigerate it for about two hours or overnight. Put about two or three inches of cooking oil in your pan. I'm using vegetable oil and make sure that your rosette irons are heating up. Have your oil heated up to between 360 and 370. Take your hot irons and blot the oil off of them. Then put your batter into a pie pan. It'll be easier to dip them. And dip them about halfway through into your batter. Make sure you don't go over the top. Drip off the excess and now put them in your oil. They should cook like in under two minutes. to move them up and down a little bit. Sometimes they come right off in the oil. See, they came right off. Just have some tongs ready. And you see when they get nice and lightly golden, you don't want them to burn, so don't cook them for too long. But once they stop sizzling, they're usually pretty much done. And then you put them on paper towel to drain. And make sure you put that hollow side of it, put it down to drain. Just remember, before you dip it into your batter again, make sure you get the irons hot again. So leave them in there for about 30 or 40 seconds. And then do the whole process again. You blot and you dip and then back in the oil. Once the batter starts getting low, you put it into a smaller bowl and take off one of the irons. I'm making pastry bowls now, which my set comes with. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Once they're completely cooled, you powder sugar them. Oh, look at them. Aren't they pretty? And they're so easy to make. I'll leave a link in the video description where you can buy the irons. If you don't have them, you probably have them. You probably have them handed down from your grandmother. Look how nice, and they're crispy. Oh, they're so good. They taste like funnel cake. Mmm, look how pretty they are. And look at the bowls. The bowls are great to put a scoop of ice cream. Just make sure you don't fill them ahead of time or they get soggy. But look how great they are. And I hope you try this. They're so fun to make. They're so pretty. Don't forget to thumbs up and enjoy. For more dessert recipes, check out my playlist. And don't forget to subscribe. I post a new video every Saturday.